All right, to get a look into K Art World in Korea on demand this week, uh, joining us live on Zoom from the beautiful island of Jeju is Sonia. Sonia, good to see you again. Good to see you too. All right, so I'm really excited this time, as as always, every month, uh, new artists, uh, new artworks that we can learn about. Uh, who are we going to be looking at? I, I think there's a, an exhibition of this particular artist that's uh, worth checking out. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a solo exhibition of this artist called Simon Ko in Sejong Art Seoul. The title of the exhibition is called Mellow Island. Okay, okay. So Simon Ko, uh, just from just uh, again hearing this name for the very first time, but if I were to make uh, a guess, uh -huh. uh, this person is either of uh, you know Korean American, Can uh, Korean something, uh, you know, lived abroad or uh -huh. something like that. Uh, tell us about uh, more about the artist in uh, Simon Ko. Yeah, so he was born in 1988. Uh, he grew up in New York. Yeah, yeah. Um, not sure if he was born in Korea, but he did grow up in New York, and he's now currently based in Seoul. He's a painter. Um, he graduated, maybe you know these schools, uh, BFA from the Cooper Union School of Art. And then M he did his MFA in Yale uh, School of Art. And, you know, these schools, um, you know, we talked about before and that is all the gallerists and the curators, even collectors are always looking for the new, like, young talent, uh -huh. you know, emerging artists. And, like, graduation exhibition is definitely one of the places that we check out. Um, Yale School of Art is definitely one of the schools that all the art people are excited to check out for the next, you know, hot, talented painters. Yeah. Um, and Simon Ko is from that school, so we can already guess, like, he how good of a painter he is. Yeah, uh, so, like, I'm from New York, so I know Cooper Union. Cooper Union mm. is probably mm -hmm. one of the more illustrious uh, art schools, uh, design schools. Like, everyone knows about RISD, oh. right? The, the, what is it, Rhode yeah. Island School of Design? But uh, yeah. Cooper Union, if you get into Cooper Union, it's it's four year ride. Uh, that's why it's so competitive. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, my my high school had uh, majors, and uh, architecture was famous. And so you know, Cooper Union also famous for architecture. So not only did they have art design, they were famous for the school. I mean, this guy, he, Cooper Union and Yale School of Art. So <laughs> I you know, let's just put it out there. He he's good. He's good. He's young. Yeah. He's, uh, he's only in his thirties. He's from New York. He's good. Uh, the mm -hmm. title of the exhibition. Mellow Island. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, what, what kind of feeling or sentiment does the word mellow remind you of? Well, I didn't know what mellow mean before mm -hmm. this. So I had to check the dictionary and I definitely get the feeling of maturity, obviously. Mm -hmm. The emotional maturity and, you know, when it comes, when you talk about maturity, we have to talk about growth followed by pain. And, Let's take a moment and really think about when do we mature? When do people get mature? Uh, guys never mature, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys never really mature. Like people but, in general. Sure, sure. Uh, I mm -hmm. would say the first sort of uh, step towards maturity is when you go to college, uh, when you're on your own, mm -hmm. maybe if you dorm. Uh, and then mm -hmm. when you start your career, you mature even further. And then when you mm -hmm. get married, but I really matured after, you know, kids came. Um, oh. And I, I think I still have room to mature, but uh, uh -huh. the guys are a little bit uh, later. What, what about you? When do you think uh, we all mature? I mean, it's interesting how you described um, it's like different stages of life. Mm -hmm. How I saw it was completely different. And that is when, you know, things don't really go as you planned or anticipated. I mm -hmm. think that's when you get to mature because, you know, you expect something to happen or you expect something to be like this or whatever. And then it doesn't work out that way. And then you feel, you know, embarrassed. You feel disappointed. You mm -hmm. feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. So these like, you know, negative emotions, especially when something goes wrong, within a very close relationship, like, you know, between lovers or friends, you know, it feels so personal and really confronting. And it's followed by, you know, painful time for, you know, what is called reflection and introspection, you know, we're trying to really review and like think about what was wrong, you know, what did I do wrong? 
And then, you know, we get to have these conclusions of new realizations or epiphanies. And I think these like experience as a whole, we get a fruit uh, from this and that is called maturity mm. and growth. I, it, it's, it's deep stuff. And you know what the interesting thing about the word mellow is? Mm. I think depending on how you see the word or uh, mellow, mm-hmm. it can either be a positive thing or a negative thing. Um, oh, because you have terms like, you know, you've mellowed out, uh, you're no longer right. this like very, you know, uplifting, very positive person, you know, you're kind of mellowed out. But as you mm-hmm. said, I think like I've really mellowed, you know, people don't believe me, but I've really mellowed out, uh, over the years, you. over the, yeah, over the uh-huh. past few years, because I mean, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm live on air and I'm, you know, I got to do mm-hmm. broadcasting. So the sort of the me that you see outside the studio is very different from what you see in the studio and a lot of people yeah and so like a lot of people get really surprised when i tell them that my mbti uh i'm in i Mm -hmm. uh wow yeah so i get that all the time wow uh but the thing is Uh i used to be an e uh when i was younger but i think i've mellowed Uh out i've matured and Mm -hmm. uh, I've, i've changed into an i but this exhibition, um, mm. does the this exhibition truly reflect these sentiments conveyed by the word mellow, though? Mm, I mean, well, I didn't check the exhibition myself yet, mm-hmm. but by the photos and the images and the press release that I sure, read, sure, sure. I do think that the impression of this exhibition will be the mellow that is soft but turbulent in a way. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, you know, because... Simon's paintings in this exhibition are like collective memories of him confronting painful events. And what's his attitude going through these events? It's very calm. There's some sort of, you know, sense of serenity to it. And I think that's the whole kind of atmosphere and the mood of this exhibition. You know, um, you used two words here. Uh, you hmm. used to describe this particular uh I guess exhibition you used uh what is it uh what is it calm you said calm and what was the other word you said uh chaotic what was the other word they used serenity uh it was a soft but turbulent oh there you go soft but turbulent right i mean these are like opposite words right how can you be soft Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. turbulent but Mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen if you are watching us and listening to us live on our uh, youtube you're going to understand why, where this whole soft but turbulent really comes from. And his work actually does express this. So let's talk about what kinds of moments he mainly depicts in his heart artwork. Mm, so almost always his paintings are based on his real life events, the things that he actually went through and obviously subtracts or adds some sort of, you know, new imagination to complete his paintings. And the main things he talks about is relationships and the very nature of relationships and that is fragile but strong and also hard to um um expect we don't know where it's going or Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when it's something's gonna happen um and also like communication of emotional communication so these kind of moments and for example um like once he prepared a surprise party and then he actually failed or a day in a hotel room on his trip. So these very personal moments. So what we see here is a gentleman who's uh, down on the floor. And, and, and do you know the story behind this particular painting? Because I mean, I saw this Mm. as, because, you know, I'm, I'm talking about maturity right now, right? And 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 one of the mm-hmm. things that I used to do when I was in my 20s, party every weekend. I mean, you know, I would I would go out and have fun. Now I'm at the point where I'm afraid people are going to call me out. I want to stay home. And so this is what <laughs> maturity is all about. You know, you've ended the uh-huh. party. It's a day after, night after partying. And uh, uh, you start, you know, regretting your choices and uh, regretting <laughs> going out. But what, is there a story behind this particular painting? That's how I, that's how, <laughs> how I saw it. This is this well, is the story. yes. The story is actually um, well. He didn't say much about it directly, but it came from his experience where he was preparing for a party. Not sure if it was a surprise party or not, but then it something went wrong. 
And okay. so maybe the party didn't actually happen or the party didn't really go well. Mm -hmm. And all we see now this guy alone um, on the ground and he's like, this is the face of introspection. Now he's really thinking hard about what went wrong. And this painting really spoke to me personally because um, I used to love throwing like surprise parties to oh, my yeah? friends. Okay. And when I do it, like the whole time you prepare for the party and the event, you need to blow out the 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 balloons and mm -hmm, you prepare mm -hmm. for the food. And I, uh, sometimes you work with a lot of like time constraints because like, I don't know, like five minutes later, like the guys, the person's on his way now, he's coming any moment and you're rushing. And so you're experiencing this like roller coaster of, emotions but mostly it's like a big big anticipation you know mm -hmm. like you're the whole time repairing thinking about oh my god like how much this person is going to be surprised and like happy like how much he would he like it you know and then you see the reaction the person comes and then you know if it's not the reaction that you were looking for you're you're thinking then you get so disappointed. Yeah. And you see where now this particular mm. picture, there's so much going on right now. You can see that some of the balloons on the floor are deflated. There's yeah. some that's still kind of, uh, you know, in the air. You have this gentleman mm. uh, for some reason on the floor with a humidifier. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what a humidifier is doing there in the middle of the room. Uh, oh, uh -huh. and you can see the bottles, which are, by the way, they're already open, which means that they've already dr uh, drank the uh, the alcohol. It seems mm -hmm. like uh, wine bottles, at least. And then, yeah. and then the the weird thing all of with all of this is, it's not the humidifier that's weird. It's mm -hmm. why of all of the things that you've depicted in the background is an open curtain. And just nature, mm -hmm. just kind of going in there. It's just to show that where he, like, oh. I mean, does that show anything? Or is that just randomly, like, how, where he, he, he lived? It's, it's just weird how these random things are popping out. And Simon Co., I'm just going to say mm -hmm. this right now. He's, he's very Americanized. You know how I know this? Why? How? He's, he's got shoes inside the house. <laughs> how how dare you wear shoes oh, inside the house? Oh, I completely missed that. Yeah, <laughs> even so I, right. even I don't do this. But this is where the soft <laughs> but turbulent comes from. I think because the in, in, you mm -hmm. could see the softness in his expression, as in there is some disappointment. It's not chaotic, but the surroundings are very chaotic and turbulent, and mm -hmm. there's a lot going inside the head that's very turbulent. Um, exactly. Uh, we got Aaron who says he apparently needs some good air. Uh, yeah, not not air purifier. Uh -huh. it, it's just it's a it's a humidifier, <laughs> from what I'm saying. Let's look at now a painting called uh, Away, uh, and this mm -hmm. is wow. Um, I don't know how to describe this. This is it seems like a boat. Uh, it seems like mm -hmm. uh, a scene. Seems like they've uh, wow. There's fire in the yeah. water. And the ship is completely ruined, but it's still floating. Mm -hmm. There's a guy, gentleman, who's kind of laying down in the ship where a female with a scarf seems to be leading this particular ship. And you can tell there's a lot of... I mean, is the boat on fire? What's going on here? What, what's this I, it all looks about? like the boat is on fire, right? Or they are escaping, escaping from yeah. a fire, like disaster, and like the debris are kind of you know, flying towards them and, you know, that wrecked the bow. And so the guy looks like completely, he looks like he's given up, but then the woman looks like she's kind of like over mm -hmm. these kind of disaster situations. And uh, I personally think that this is an amazing metaphor of a any heterosexual relationships um, when things go wrong, you know? Guys just give up where girls look for... Guys could, you know, tap out sometimes and the oh. girl's just like <laughs> trying to stay calm. You can you, you know? can see from the girl's face right now, she's so like, yeah. it's she's so over this guy right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with this guy? But then they're still in the same boat. Right, you know? right. Like, it's not like she went to another boat. She's still on the boat together with the guy. Yeah. And I, you know... You I, know. I, I completely agree with you. Um, this mm. is not a ship, but it's a mm -hmm. relationship. 
Mm, mm, it's a uh, yeah, yeah. It's a relationship that's it's uh-huh. it's 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 on fire right now. Things are not working good, but yeah. the guy's given up. But uh-huh. you can tell from the the female perspective of this, she's not going to give up yeah. yet. Uh, she's yeah. still going to try, and she's going to go out there and escape this fiery relationship. Oh, mm-hmm. I like this. And again, you can tell from <laughs> just the surroundings. There's both this softness. And a lot of turbulence that's going around here. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> we got maybe he is saving her from the fire. No, I think I, I'm pretty sure the 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 girl is saving the guy from the fire here. Um, and another thing to note is, for some reason, the guy is also wearing green uh, in this particular uh, painting as well. Let's go into our mm-hmm. next painting here. Uh, we got another one where again you're seeing a, a, a gentleman. Who's mm-hmm. man? Does this guy not like dudes? <laughs> he's sleeping. <laughs> he's sleeping on the bed while the uh, the lady is working on her laptop right now. What seems yeah. to be a very fancy high rise apartment. Uh, your your mm-hmm. analysis on this particular painting, uh, Sonia? Um, how I think this is a hotel room uh, oh, okay, on okay. their trip. How I know it's a hotel room is. The carpet on the floor. Oh, like, that's normally right. Normally, the floors are not, you know, carpet, so it's woods or tiles. So the carpet gives me the vacation hotel vibe. And we can kind of assume that, predict that this couple was actually planning for a romantic night out uh, because he's kind of dressed in just wearing a green shirt and there's like a flower. Uh, bouquet behind them uh-huh. so maybe they plan something romantic night out and a dinner at a fancy place but then you know vacations don't always happen uh, don't go as as how we want it to happen and you know work got up or life happened and now they have to cancel the plan and she's just working on her laptop and she obviously doesn't look happy no, or no. satisfied and the guy's just like Sleeping. I don't know, meditating? <laughs> I, you know, earlier you mentioned that part of being an adult, uh, part of being more mature is knowing mm. that there are bigger responsibilities, uh, but also mm-hmm. comes with bigger responsibilities, uh, also come with disappointment. Um, mm-hmm. And these are things that you have to kind of deal with when you're an adult. Uh, you could plan it a, a vacation, uh, but work could kind of get in the way and could completely yeah. ruin uh, a relationship. But mm-hmm. here's, oh, this is a very good point by my producer right now. Uh, mm-hmm. I First he said, this looks like a funeral, but I, I, I ignore that. But <laughs> notice, notice, this is, this is cool. He is, the way that he's lying down, right? Mm-hmm. He's lying down with his head on the foot of the bed. What, mm-hmm. what kind of maniac lies down like that? No, wh- why is he why is he lying down at the foot of the bed and not the other way? Mm-hmm. Because that's obviously the foot of the bed right now. You don't do that? You you sleep on the foot of your bed? I mean, like, <laughs> we, we have to think that they're not actually, you know, sleeping. They're not, like, they weren't gonna go to bed they are kind of resting the guy is oh, like waiting and, and, and he wants to be close to her and talk to her and he f- okay yeah, okay yeah. okay you're right you're right it, and you should try sometimes actually like lying on the other side of the bed really you will see something different yeah oh man you know change is a, <laughs> you know part of uh, being an adult is change but uh, man that's that's a different kind of change I might have to try that. I don't know how I feel about sleep on the foot of the bed. Um, One last thing to look at here, and I think this is, uh, I don't even know if this is even a painting, to be honest with you. I I don't know. You have to explain to me what this is. It seems seems like an installation. It seems like a sculpture right Mm -hmm. now. And again here, the guy is wearing a greenish sweater, uh, (laughs) sitting down on something, and there's uh, someone who is covering themselves in a blanket. You can tell that's, that's like some person covered up in a blanket looking like Wally. Mm-hmm. Uh, and mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, oh, that's a scary looking person on the blanket. Uh, and he is holding on to this. Is that a ship too? Is he? Mm-hmm. It's a ship. And so he's holding on to a rope attached by the ship. Yeah. 
And yeah. there's a lot of like hurricane looking, tornado looking swirls uh, in the background. Mm -hmm. Let's get mm -hmm. your uh, expert analysis on this particular uh, art week, uh, artwork. And also what kind of, mm. I guess, uh, artwork is this? Is this an installation? Mm, it's an installation uh, with three different sculptures and a wall painting uh, in the background. And my interpretation is um, that this is an image of what's happening inside of the sky. You know, the the whirlpool like images in the in the walls are like you know, the tornadoes, the emotional mm -hmm. tornadoes is happening, and. The guy is sitting, staring at his phone, holding onto a rope uh, connected to the ship. And I think the ship is a transportation that you can use to go to where you want to go. And mm. that is the uh, the Mellow Island. That's the a way to maturity that he hopes to ha uh, hopes to reach one day. And how I see uh, the the smaller sculpture that's covered in a cape like thing, maybe his inner child. Yo, you know? Oh, I was just gonna say that. That's like the you know like yeah. your comfort blanket, right? Uh, you don't want to uh -huh. come out of your comfort. You don't want to come yeah. out of your 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 inner child. Although mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, that 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 face does not look like a child. That, that's some <laughs> scary looking child face there. Um, but yeah, you're right. I mean, we often say we you know we have like. Um, you know, babies, they have their comfort mm. blankets. Yeah. And he doesn't want to come out. He doesn't want to mature yet. Uh, he's he's mm. still comp contemplating whether or not he wants to move on uh, to the next... Yeah, exactly. ...next uh, phase in their life. Mm -hmm. Man, see, this is this is crazy. I, you know, I think this is like probably of all the artworks that you've ever showcased that we've uh -huh. had so much analysis. Yeah. And so many different analysis, and this is so deep here. Um, how would you say that this exhibition was the uh, you know, exhibition structured to complement the artworks, and uh, also mm. tell us where we can kind of check out this artwork because I, I've got a lot of different feelings just looking at these, uh, just a handful of uh, the artworks from Simon Co. Mm. So you know, the, um, the, there are paintings and there are sculptures, all the wall paintings, the insulation. So all this together, really, it gives us a very immersive experience to really deep dive into uh, this feeling of mellow and Simon Coe's uh, works, obviously. And the exhibition is still happening until April 21st in Sajang art soul um not the Pusan branch it's the soul branch and okay. it's free of charge so yeah definitely check it out i man i'm i'm, I'm starting to realize I, i'm still mm. trying to mature uh i'm still i'm still that, i'm still that guy in the blanket still in that blanket <laughs> right now fighting aren't we all that's right yeah. uh, man today's this is this was a profound segment I, why, you know, why couldn't all my art classes back in high school like this? And uh, I, would have, I wouldn't have failed. Sonia, I want to thank you so much uh, for introducing mm. to us and all of our listeners out there another remarkable artist and another remarkable exhibition. Please stay safe and uh, really looking forward to seeing you again next month. Thank you. Bye. You can listen to Korea Now with me, SJ Lee, by downloading the Arirang Radio application or tune in online by visiting www.arirangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Korea time.